What is going on everybody? My name is Steven or Z Crowns here and I'm coming at you with a new video which I'm gonna be calling my NHL 15 wishlist. And sorry boys, there hasn't been a video out in a while. Um I was on vacation in Costa Rica, which was awesome, but I won't go into detail with that because you guys probably don't care and you just want to hear what I have to think NHL 15 should have and what it needs to be a better game mode or not a better game mode, a better game for more people to buy it and just to make the better game overall better than NHL 14. So let's jump right into this, guys. So right off the beginning, my favorite game mode is ESHL or ESL or Club or EA Sports Hockey League, where you c make your own player and play as your player with your friends on one team, and it's an awesome game mode. So I want to start off with I want to have I want don't want to have I want to see more customization in ESL. And as more customization, I just want to see my player actually look like me, not just the just the face that they give you. I think those are very bland and boring. I like what FIFA did. FIFA is actually a really good game if you should try that out. Um, but they do game face. So you take a picture on your laptop, desktop, computer, whatever it is, and you put it into this game face and it renders your face so it looks like you on the game. It's actually sweet, so it looks like you're actually playing the game and it's freaking awesome. <laughs> And just like more customization, I just want to see, make your guy actually play like you, look like you, and all that stuff. So, and the second thing for Easel, I want to see that they did start this off in NHL 14, sort of, with the hut pucks. At an end of every game, you get hut pucks no matter what game mode you're playing. So I find that really cool, but I feel like they should do that for Easel. So you should get easel credits or points or whatever. So you can start with bad equipment maybe, or not bad equipment, but with like a wooden stick. And then with the credits that you, more games you play, the more credits you earn, then you gain those credits and you can put it towards equipment. So you can work up to have the nicest stick in the game, the nicest gloves, the nicest helmet, whatever. So you just don't start off with it, you have to work up with it. I think that would be pretty cool. So, and my third and last thing for ESHL is the playoff system. The playoff system was absolutely horrible this year. I do not like it whatsoever. In NHL 13, it was a lot better with playoffs once a month. And playoffs once a month, it got the team rallied up. Okay, let's go, let's go, let's play, do the playoffs. And get all hype about the playoffs and everything. But this year, that's every two weeks and you have three chances to play. I find it really boring. It's just... They totally killed the ESHL playoffs by doing that, and it used to be an awesome thing to do, just play with your friends, or like, everyone, I remember in NHL 13, we used to get so hyped for the playoffs, alright, let's go, let's go, playoffs is on, let's go win this, and then now it's just like, oh, playoffs are on again, oh, let's just not try the first two times, then win it the third time, it's really boring, and I don't find ESL playoffs fun at all, so... Those are the three things I want to change in ESL. More customization, and then have points or credits at the end of every game to buy stuff for your player, and the playoff system, change it overall back to NHL 13. Alright, <laughs> All right. so our next thing I'm going to be talking about is the GM mode, which is a very popular offline game mode, actually. I find a lot of my friends play it. And it's really fun if you can get a uh, good team going. So... The thing I like about it is that you you start off with your team, make all these crazy trades, and get the young players. And then in a, and then 2017, when everyone's developed, you're unstoppable. But I find it's a little boring and stale. It's kind of the same thing every year. So I remember I think it's Madden who does this. Um, they call it owner mode or something. So I think. G GM mode should be called GM mode slash owner mode or something along those lines where you can you can be able to move the team like to another city because say your fans aren't appreciating you anymore you want something new you want a new place to live and all this stuff you can move your st like you can move to Seattle maybe and you can get the new fan base new fans new people to come watch your games everything and just restart overall and you could change the team. So say if I was moving the Toronto Maple Leafs to Seattle, they can move name it the Seattle Thunderbirds. I know that's a name, I think, but whatever. Uh, then the, you can change the arena. The arena I find in every single game mode is just stale. So I want you could be you should be able to customize it in every single game mode. Easel 
hut GM mode to make it look like you're actually playing there to have your team signs or team jerseys that the the fans are wearing all along the boards and all this stuff I think it'd be really cool like back in NHL 05 where you can make your own arena that was so cool and now on to everyone's favorite game mode hockey ultimate team or hut this is everyone's favorite game mode and the main things I want to talk about here is going to start with the free packs for the EA season ticket. I am a part of the EA season ticket and I get free pa well I used to get free packs and they're actually poop. But the main thing that you that was grinded my gears about the free packs as you weren't allowed to sell them. You weren't allowed to sell anything from you get the free packs. And I actually did pretty well in the free packs. I got Patrick Marlowe in a free pack when he was going about 50k. And then the next free pack I opened, I got Joe Thornton who went for 100k. So I just lost out 150k there and I had to put them on my team. And I don't really like, like them on my team. I, I wish I could sell them, make those pucks, get a better team. But you know, I can't sell those players which really grinded my gears. I don't know why EA made that so you can't sell those players. But I'm not EA so... <laughs> And EA releases like one of those promo packs maybe once or twice a week and those just equal a market crash and especially with the I'm recording this on March 17th and the team of the year comes out tomorrow which is going to be a big market crash because everyone's just going to be opening up packs and selling all these players for cheap and like Datsuk's probably going to go for 10k, no not 10k but he'll go for cheap and it just ruins the market with all these packs that they're releasing. I know what they're trying to do, they're trying to get people's money, but still it's just ruining the game. And speaking of ruining the game for Hockey Elder Team, Farmers. If you don't know what Farmers is, it's uh, park Puck Farmers, sorry. It's but people do a collection and make 20 accounts and send the collection to 20 accounts to get all the bonus and send all the pucks back to their main account. It really ruins the game and I find like, I come up in Division 1 with my average team, and then I come up against a guy with Crosby, Malkin, Ovechkin, Datsuk. I'm like, you you didn't do anything to get this team. You just pucked farm your way here. It's really not fair, and... <clears throat> excuse me, it's not fair, and it just ruins the game for everyone. It's unrealistic. Well, I guess... Never, never mind, but it's just not fun to play against a team like that and it just ruins the game and my last thing I have to say which I've been hoping for for many years is just a general saying but I just want new celebrations in the game I find like when we score a goal and especially in ESL every single player should be able to do a celebration maybe come in as one and jump all into the boards it'd be so sweet so boys that's what my NHL 15 wish list is if you have anything you want to say about your NHL 15, 15 wish list? what you want to see in NHL 15, just leave a comment down below. And this is going to be it for this video, so please like, subscribe, comment, and I'll see you guys next time. See you later, guys.